Hey, you know, this party's looking a little stiff cold. So what are you saying? Maybe they amp it up? You can try, but this crowd doesn't dance before midnight. Okay. Rocking a party. Step one. So it's the DJ's job to get the crowd out of their heads and into their bodies. So in order to do that, you need at the very least a caveman sense of rhythm, a cursory knowledge of mathematics, and the broad strokes of ninth grade biology. For example, the bass line controls this region of the body right here. The most important region. There's always going to be resistance, so you got to be patient. Look for that one person who's not afraid to just go for it. Next, you want to zero in on their heartbeats. I like to start them off at about 120 beats per minute. That's equivalent to the heartbeat of a long distance runner. You see, BPM is the name of the game. It governs how your body moves. For example, reggae is slow, about 60 BPM. Dubstep is actually 140 BPM cut to half speed. It ends up being about 70 BPM. House is around 110 to 130 BPM. Then there's hardcore. Not sure how you dance to that. Once you've locked onto their heart rate, you start bringing them up, song by song. There's a popular myth that 128 beats per minute is the rate that synergizes most with your heartbeat. That's the magic number. Once you've gotten your crowd there, you're controlling their entire circulatory system.